According to our research, 71% of executives say AI improves productivity, but only 22% of analysts agree. Steve Wilson, you've built AI tools firsthand, so we'd love to hear from you. What's the disconnect between how these tools are designed versus how they're received in the SOC? Um, walk around any cybersecurity trade show, and there's been this amazing transition in the last two years where every single vendor has spray painted AI on the side of their booth and on the side of their products. So when we, when we look at a thousand different professionals getting surveyed, they may be looking at 500 different AI technologies, products wrapped under that umbrella. And um, let's face it, the other thing that's happened in the last two years since the rise of ChatGPT and Gemini and friends is it has never been easier to make an incredibly, incredibly compelling demonstration of AI technologies as applied to any um, field of use but cybersecurity in particular. And so I think what we're seeing is a, a lot of selling going on out there that looks really exciting and compelling. But the question is, you know, as we're rushing to take advantage of this exciting new technology, are we thinking about the actual use case, the actual ROI that we're gonna expect, the actual benefits and types of productivity? Have we done our homework in terms of classifying that? Is it an opinion that it's made us better or worse? Or do we have objective criteria about how we evaluate the before and the after? And I think in a lot of cases, people are, are rightfully feeling the urgency to adopt these technologies. But I think it really helps to put these things in place where you know how to evaluate them, you have criteria, and you can objectively measure the benefits and decide whether you're getting them or not.